It is time to celebrate Black History Month with a biography on Medgar Evers. When looking through the history books, Medgar Evers made his mark on history as a civil rights activist. The life of Medgar Evers began on July 2, 1925, where he was born in Decatur, Mississippi. A big life event for Medgar Evers happened during his senior year in college, where he married fellow student Merle Beasley. Medgar Evers stood up as an African American, becoming the first state field secretary of the NAACP in Mississippi. Medgar Evers was known for standing up for equality and organizing boycotts of companies who discriminated against others based on their race or gender. For example, Medgar Evers applied to law school and was rejected. This is where he worked with a famous African American history named Thurgood Marshall for the ending of segregation in schools. In May 1954, the U.S. Supreme Court handed down its decision in the famous Brown v. Board of Education case. This decision legally ended segregation in schools. Medgar Evers also worked to make sure everyone had a right to vote and was treated fairly and got their votes in during elections. Medgar Evers worked to stop crime as well. This is where he would investigate crimes against African Americans in a time where many African Americans were assaulted and even killed for the color of their skin, like another famous African American history named Emmett Till, who was killed as a young boy. Although Medgar Evers stood up against racism, not everybody liked it. Throughout his life, he received many death threats, and his family even had their home set on fire in May 1963. On June 12, 1963, Medgar Evers was assassinated after being shot in the back in the driveway of his home in Jackson, Mississippi. Although there was plenty of evidence showing that a man named Byron De La Beckwith had killed Medgar Evers, when going to court, the jury could not decide whether he was guilty on two occasions. This is where he would get in trouble because after an investigation and finding information that the jury had been messed with during his previous trials, in 1990, he was indicted for the murder of Medgar Evers again. After many appeals in court, Beckwith was finally convicted and justice prevailed for Evers' family. Beckwith later died at the age of 80 in 2001. So although the life of Medgar Evers was unjustly taken, in the end, justice was served, bringing his family closure, and that was all with a biography celebrating Black History Month on Medgar Evers. And I hope you had fun learning with F-R-E-S-B-E-R-G Cartoon.